So the Rengar Zillion. Trey's got it. He knows what he wants. Oh, I actually wrote Ezreal down as the ban here. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that was, they're messing me up here. When everything gets inside your head, there it is. The Echo, the Anivia, Bjergsen coming up with the bans quick. We'll see if Prey can finalize one more game here. All of these are best of three. Remember, the loser still gets 25 points for their team, so Fire's getting 25 points out of this. No matter what, it looks like they're going to spell it each time, so it's not going to be a mystery for us. Once they get down, hopefully they don't spell something weird next time. We just have to watch another <laughs> zillion farm fest well, for I mean, days on days on days. I'm surprised that Bjergsen's taking this. Although, Ezreal, he did play a little bit this, uh, this season with the Runeglaive. I would just be like, come on, you're going to play me in a Syndra mirror. Syndra, Ooh. spell it out. And then Bjergsen's like, ha, I got you. And then game three, they play something like a top laner which neither of them really have too much experience <laughs> on. But Ezreal Mirror looks to be the name of the game. We have actually saw this between two LATAM players in IWCA, and it resulted in two people standing behind their minion wave for quite a long time, yeah. until one finally got like an item break point, had more damage, and just went in. If it wasn't so damn mana intensive, I'd love to see a Jace Mirror matchup. That'd be fantastic. Dodge yeah. and Shock Blast going in, hammering each other away. Be pretty brutal. Once each other's nose, you go into hammer form. You're like, well, I guess I'm going into hammer form <laughs> yeah, too. Going in. <laughs> you just knock back each other with the. Uh... Yeah, at the same time, <laughs> smash them back at your percent health damage. Let's go, game two. We're getting in right now. Bjergsen versus Prey. Birgo looking to get one under his belt here. Prey really taking it to him in that first game. We got Azrael versus Azrael. Looks like Bjergsen's going with Explorer as well, so he's going to explore what other options he has getting into this game. He's going to have to find something golden in this game. Yeah, he does. He needs it to stay in the 1v1 tournament something. right now. I wonder, what are we getting? Oh, both Explorer as Wow. Man. Gentlemen. Whew. I hope this isn't the same kind of mirror as yesterday, where it's no items, no uh, <laughs> no spells. That was actually one of the best 1v1s I think we've had. That was Just fantastic. Because it'd be, it'd be like you knew it was going to get intense, but for 10 minutes it wasn't. You're like, this is going to be worth it, but right now I'm watching paint dry. <laughs> that's actually... Uh, that's, Ooh, that's Reginald. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Reginald. Right? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I love it. It's great. Okay. So let's see what we have. Crowd's ready. Players are ready. We are on to the abyss, and we are ready for some more 1v1. Fire Bjergs in a fire prey. They are about to match in the middle. 6-6-18 six, six, for both. Grasp the Undying for both, but the difference. No. I know, I was going to say. No. Look, we've got to go through the housekeeping room. I'm I sorry. Know, I know. At this point, though, Bjergsen is running about 80 more health, has less armor, and actually less magic resist as well. So Prey is running seven extra MR in this setup. So, was it Bjergsen? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I remember you saying it before. Was it Bjergsen always trying to run the health? Uh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. running health into Kira, actually, in that Lucian right. Kira matchup. And it actually won Bjergsen the game because he was able to take two more auto attacks. So interesting in this setup that Prey still opting for the armor, still opting for, uh, actually opting for more magic resist. Of course, Ezreal does have a little bit of uh, AP damage in Not his kit, it. but that's a significant amount of MR that uh, Prey has. So Bjergsen always likes to get that early ward in. Hasn't really helped him out too much, but he's hoping for a play within the next few seconds to get a mystic shot in that brush if Prey were to go in. Nothing's gonna come of it, just vision for now and safety to start the game. He kept it even for quite some time. Level four, level five is when it started to get tougher for Bjergsen and Prey really got an advantage once he had all three abilities. Yeah, and it tends to be in these AD carry mirror matchups specifically that not a lot is going to happen in the early game without one of these two players making a monumental mistake. And that you'd have to pretty much tank an entire wave of creeps <laughs> to actually turn a game around this early on. So it really is a good five, six minute game before it really starts to open up. And that's where you see the differences. So right now, it's all just about the farm game. Who can get that little push on? Who can try and get just an edge, deny a creep or two from their opponent? And you can see right now, Prey does uh, have the even CS yep. with Bjergsen. Nobody's really phased right now. Uh, looks like this should pretty much just center itself. Bjergsen has those two to clean up before he starts the next wave, and still tied right now. They were definitely taking piercing light shots previously, but full health at this point with Grasp of the Undying, so no one really worse for the wear right now. Let's see if Bjergsen can actually hit some Mystic shots. They're doing great positioning behind minions. It's super easy. But it's easy to also forget <laughs> when you're just farming, farming, farm. Oh, I stepped out. Now I'm actually under 100 HP. Yeah, or this full HP, I should say. 
Yeah, and at this point, Relics will spawn for 75 seconds on the cooldown on those, so Prey yeah. kind of has a, an ever so slight advantage in the fact that Bjergsen then took his, just to get the extra mana back, make sure he could even up any kind of pushing that Prey is trying to do, because you can see there's a big stack in front of Bjergsen right now, he's letting it push all the way into the turret, and uh, we will see the added damage come out. Good job for Bjergsen, and that one was uh, pretty much just in the right spot, right. but that's how difficult it is. If you don't oh. set up, if you don't set up the minion, from the melee uh, right. begins first, you're never gonna get it. Arcane Shift, Q hits as well, so Bjergsen down in CS a little bit if they were to go continuous wave for wave, but he does have a bit of damage. The Relic's there, missing shot into the Relic, so he denies a bit of that health. Bjergsen still has his, no, he does not have his pick up, sorry. And at this point, Prey is just trading a little damage onto himself, trading his health for the added CS that he has. Does right. miss that one, however, so everyone that Bjergsen denies by making a play like this using Vision. There's the Ignite. Bjergsen could be very close to taking him down. Essence Flex goes in. He's going for it. No way. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Bjergsen ties it up one to one. Prey laughing it off but he still can't believe it. Really nice, and what he did there was punish Prey for trading two 300 health just for a couple of extra minions, then gets all the way, uses the vision, because there's you know a minimum amount of range creeps here, so Bjergsen knows with only two, yep. if he can get everything off in that trade, he's gonna be able to take Whee. the kill. Bjergsen takes him down, puts himself in a tied series, one game apiece. I was just about to say, if Prey works it like this, usually you see players go down about 200 health, and then it seems like they take no shots. It's almost yeah. like they got so much better and they're playing much more mechanically uh, well. But then he, as we said, doesn't have any minions to stand behind. That's what was keeping them alive. Takes that damage. Bjergsen goes in, sees his opportunity, and seizes that. Yeah, and normally trading health, as you said, not so bad in that situation. You can get that little bit of a lead, keep yourself in the game. But we've had Lucian, we've had Ezreal. What's next? What do we think is up next? I, I would love to see a uh, mid laner. What can they spell? It has to be six letters. Yeah, it has to be six letters. Uh, we could have Zillion again. Yeah. Um, now you're putting me on the test, trying to figure out how many six letter. I don't know. Uh, I'm not so good with six letters. I'm, being, uh, I'm getting help with Ziggs, apparently, you could have. We have seen Ziggs as well. Clear love with uh, that yeah. Ziggs play, the satchel charge from day one. Uh, that was a pretty sweet play. That was absolutely amazing. So I was not feeling well that day. and It was passed out on the couch listening to it. And when I heard it, I went back and watched it. And I was like, <laughs> why am I missing today? Why am I not there? Did some cure remedies. Back in the game. And these guys are too. Bjergsen getting himself that one. We are all tied up now. And we are going to see if they can snuff each other out. It is going to take a fire member out, as we said before. Fire versus fire. 25 points still going to the loser, which is good for the team. Ice just got 100 in tandem random. So if, if Fire's got to do something here.